All right, folks, uh, something amazing is happening today. Something amazing is happening today. Going into the Boulder Running Company. Thank you, Keith, for the invitation and checking out the store. Now, listen, this is a beautiful thing because I went to the University of Colorado in Boulder, Colorado, and this was my go-to running shoe store back in the day when I was a student at CU, when I was a runner at CU. I would go basically... Uh, shoot the breeze with like workers on the floor about running and the passion of running and just talking about like the new shoes coming out and on that note I have no clue which shoe I am going to acquire today for you guys but I'm listening to you I have the list in my mind as far as like the Saucony Freedom, the New Balance, uh, what is it, the 1400, I believe, the Skechers Razor 3, uh, gosh, the Hoka Speed Go 2. It's like the list goes on and on and on. So I'm listening to you guys. I have the list in my mind for which shoe to acquire. And yes, review for you. But uh, all right, let's go. Thank you again, Keith, for the invitation. Come on, Boulder Running Company. Let's do this. Yes, good to see you. Little throwback time, little throwback time. Walk through history right here. Look at these shoes. Look at these shoes, guys. It gets better, it gets better. Read that. that you kind of had to account for with, with so, like surgeries or anything like that? You know, I actually have had a surgery. Yeah. Um, I, so in college, I had on my planter. Okay. It's kind of sad. But I, I was battling like 18 months, and it's like in college, your time is precious. Oh, yeah. So it was a tough decision, but we did, flew to California to a great foot doctor, and I did have it on my uh, planter. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that was a, that was a tough they do. Yeah. Okay. Um, they're, they're, the reason why they're different is instead of a big chunk of foam, they have what they call clouds. Oh, yeah. And so basically each of these little pods is a cloud. And you don't notice it so much on the black. One that has some color, you'll notice that there's different densities to them. Yeah. And it has to do with the density needed for the strike and transition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's pretty unique, really. Very unique. Yeah. It's I super lightweight. Yeah. And we usually, when someone comes in, honestly, we kind of, you know, try to figure out if they run more road or more trail. Yep. Um, basically, the chunk that's right here is going to be the men's road is shoes. Is your road, yep. yep. And cool. then women's road shoes. Got it. And then we go into trail shoes down here. Okay. Women's and men's. Yep. Um, and for the most part, the models and brands are the same yep. for men and women. So then we just kind of delve in and, and see what people are doing. Sure, sure. Find out more about what kind of running they're What they're doing. looking for. Exactly. Yep. I am um, <laughs> I'm listening to you, YouTube. I'm probably leaning more toward, oh, it's a tough call. Probably more toward road right now because it's the winter. Yep. But I'm open to, if there's a trail shoe that like hits me, I would be open to that. And there's there's that. that one that we can look on. at. It's kind of like Christmas, isn't it? Yeah, right. Seriously. <laughs> So all of the ons that we mm. carry are part of a cloud, cloud line. Okay. Cloud referring back to those, those. Um, basically the, the clouds there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and this one is called just the cloud. It's kind of sweet because you can either keep these elastic laces that make it more of a slip on. Okay. But it always comes with full laces too that you can lace up a little snugger. Oh, you know, for when you're using it a little more seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we've got people that do both with that. Okay. It's such a fun shoe. Cool. A little bit 
bit different because the clouds are structured a little bit differently, a little more of a rubber material okay. and a little better grip okay. compared to the, the road model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that same theory, getting the support through the structure of those clouds. Yeah. So I, I think I tried on 12 pairs. <laughs> we tried on a lot today. And the cloud, the paradigm, the Kinvara, and the Lone Peak. And now it kind of comes down. So they all felt great. I'd say the upper on the Lone Peak wasn't quite as comfy as the Paradigm for sure. The Paradigm Ultra, like bonus points. And then the Kinvara, of course, is kind of that lightweight racer or tempo shoe or fartlek shoe. And, and then the Cloud maybe felt the best. I'm just saying, like as far as my foot and my stride, it was just kind of pushing me forward. I don't know, it felt really good. Um, so now, Kurt, <laughs> we just got to make a decision. We will do it. Um, hmm. Might have to do a little side-by-side -side action. Okay, yeah. See if we can narrow it down a little bit more. Try, uh, um, kind of put one on right after another. Exactly. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Let's start with the paradigm. Okay. Yeah, I'm just I'm gravitating toward it. Okay. The carnage. Look at the carnage here. Oh my goodness, look at this carnage. Oh, thank you guys. I mean, it's an interesting... I've got a lot of thoughts about this shoe already. It just seems like a very... I don't want to say stripped down, but just like a simple shoe. But the cloud technology or what they're... Aver it feels really good right now. So, and again... I appreciate it. Yeah, because I'll take it out on the roads and give it a test. And All right, Keith. I always like to do a high five. Boom. My pleasure, Seth. Keith invited me in. Thank you, Keith, for taking care of me. And Kurt and Leah. Leah, hi. hi. <laughs> Thank you, guys. This is the Boulder Running Company in Littleton and Bowles and Wadsworth, right? Bowles and Wadsworth. Come check them out. So thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Sadly, I have to go. I, time to go run, right? <laughs> cool. We've got it. We've got it. Thank you, BRC, for taking care of me. Oh my gosh, just, uh, I can't wait to show you everything that's inside here. They slipped a couple extra goodies inside, if you know what I mean. All right, folks, here's where I'm at with the BRC. And again, the Boulder Running Company has been part of my running journey for years and years now because I used to shop there back when I was in college at the University of Colorado. Basically, the knowledge, the knowledge. Kurt and Keith, they, they are very, very knowledgeable. Like we spent well over an hour in there just talking and breaking down all these different types of companies. Solomon, Innovate, New Balance, Saucony, Nike, everything. Like I, try, like I said, I tried on 12 different pairs at least and I decided to go with On, a new company that I've never tried before. They're from Switzerland. But again, like Keith and Kurt, even though I would suspect, and maybe I don't know for a fact, but that they don't sell a ton of On shoes. Like they're not quite mainstream yet in America, but they are picking up momentum in my humble opinion, because I'm seeing them around a little bit more. Anyway, the. It, like they, Keith and Kurt, they still know a lot about this company. Like you heard the story about the founder. I didn't know that about the founder, and that is an incredible uh, piece of information for me to have as a consumer now of this running shoe product, and now as a communicator to you about the garden hose story. So anyway, thank you, Keith and Kurt. I'm I I just I don't even know what to say. Unfortunately. I'm on a running break right now, so I'm not gonna go running them today and give you my first impressions in an actual, you know, run of three to six miles, but that will be coming. I will unbox them for you and give you my initial impressions back at the house, coming out of the box. All right, Whew. BRC, taking care of me, taking care of me. Welcome to the cloud, ladies and gentlemen. O-N, on, that is the name of this company. The model of this shoe is called the cloud. It's a road shoe, it's neutral, it's their basic road running shoe. This company, ON, ON, started in Switzerland and it says right here on the side, Swiss Engineering, they're new. 2011, 2012, their shoes started going to market and I would say that they're starting to make 
more and more inroads into the United States. So, uh, okay, look at the bottom of this thing. Let's start on the outsole. You have never seen an outsole like this before, and I'm just gonna tell a brief that you've already heard part of it, but basically the, the designer, the original designer, cut up garden hoses and put them on the bottom of a shoe to basically create the concept behind this on company and you can kind of see the similarity as to how this could this could look like garden hoses cut up and basically glued to the bottom of your running shoes uh okay six millimeter drop so kind of middle of the road uh not a huge drop but it but it does have a little bit of a drop uh <laughs> oh my gosh seven ounces seven ounces how do they make such a lightweight shoe I would have to make I would have to say and this is by the way just my first impression out of the box I'm on a running break so I did not take these shoes out for a three to six mile test run I ran in them in the running shoe store you saw me doing that plenty of times and so I will give this shoe a full run in 2019 in fact this is probably going to be the shoe that I wear for the first time in 2019 but look the weight Look at the hole, basically the holes through the outsole here, and it, I think that is where you're saving weight uh, by cutting out some of the the midsole, basically. Why did I buy this on running shoe? First of all, I, I had in my mind like, okay, I would love to try a new company that I've never tried before for you guys, and so this is a new company for me. Also, when I put it on my foot and I started running through the store, this was my gut reaction straight straight forward when I was running through the store I felt like the shoe was pushing me straight forward for some reason like instinctively after running in 12 pairs of shoes today I just was like boom just like let's go straight forward and that's what like that's what this shoe felt like right out of right in the running shoe store now I I will do the road test soon enough and I don't know if that is because of this huge I'll just say crevasse this huge canyon through the outsole see that guy right through there it's like a it's a straight line right down the middle of the shoe is that why I felt like the shoe was pushing me straight forward? And guys, it felt really good. That's why I went with this shoe over Ultra, over New Balance, Nike, everything else that I tried today. Uh, so it felt good. Now, the upper seems a little basic, a little stripped down. There, no bells and whistles on the upper, which is fine. Um, it did, the upper did not feel like, oh, this is, a, this feels so comfortable. It did not feel like that. Just so you know, if you like really plush, uh, uppers, this is probably not your shoe. It's just a basic upper and we'll see how it feels once I get it going in the runs. But as far as the midsole, the outsole, the ride, I was... I was on cloud nine, huh? I'm seeing this shoe in the $120 to $150 range, just so you know. So as far as pricing, like not crazy expensive, but not cheap either. Kind of once again, kind of middle of the road pricing. Some drawback, one drawback that people have talked about is that rocks and stones can get stuck in the outsole here, like in these cracks and in the holes. And I could see that happening. So every run, you after the run, you might have to dig out some rocks. So yeah, that could be, but you know, a lot of shoes that happens too. But this one might be a little more so as far as rocks and stones getting stuck. So that, who knows? Then we'll see if that turns into an issue. I don't think it will be, but um, some people have mentioned that. And I just want to be clear, this is not my full review, this is not even my first impression, this is just my thoughts out of the box, a little bit of jogging in the store, January 1st, I will lace up in this guy and take it for a test run, shout out to Keith and Kurt for taking care of me today, you guys are amazing, great knowledge there at the BRC in Littleton, and okay, the question of the day, and Kurt and Keith and I, we kind of talked about this today, when you go into a running shoe store, are you uh, loyal to one or two brands and you know, this is the question of the day, are you loyal to one or two brands and you stick to those brands no matter what, or are you open to trying other running shoe companies? So where are you at? Like, are you open to others? Are you straight to one or two? Uh, and if so, what are those one or two companies that you stick to? If you're open to other running shoe brands, what is a running shoe company that you will test out and try out in 2019? Thank you so much. And of course, the keyword is 
Cloud, yes, Cloud. We're just riding on the clouds, guys. All right, that is today's vlog. I'm wrapping it up. So excited to test this guy out, but I'm gonna stay true to my uh, to my resting plan and not run today in these, even though, oh, you might true love might have to hide these from me. She might have to hide these from me. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Thanks for being here.